Hi everyone. <laughs> it's poodle snuggle time. <laughs> poodle in the picture. <laughs> this is my little boy Louie, who is always underfoot during our videos. <laughs> Usually just down here, you can't see him. Mm -hmm. Come Mom. <laughs> no, why am I on camera? <laughs> mm. Hi everyone, I am Jamie Macon. Husband. Louie. Whoop, Louie! And he's walking me closer to the table. <laughs> what are you doing, Monster? He's having fun. He's wagging his tail. He's happy to see you all. He's, he's looking for food he on here. That's what he's looking for, for up on the table. Potentially because I just had a baby snack before I got <laughs> I wasn't going to bring that up, but you know. Yeah, you smell it, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Look <who's> looking around. <laughs> okay, and, buddy. You got to get down. Mama's got to do some work. Does everybody see our new background? I'm going to go look at the camera and do this. Luke, come on, bud. He doesn't? No, <laughs> sit down. You're not talking today, bud. Poodle talking. That would be an happen? adventure for another day. Well, it's not, not toxic. Live. We could just like put his tail yeah. in it and let him go. Anyway, I'm not cleaning him. <laughs> no. Anyway, <laughs> background. So we made, we made a chalkboard, so to speak. Um... It's a piece of Luan that we painted and sanded and painted and then used a clear coat on it, matte clear coat. So we're going to start chalking and putting different stuff on the background. You doing the banner? I'm trying to, but I'm not very good at it. <laughs> you got to watch the camera and do it. Yeah, yeah. it doesn't work. Anyway, um, so we figured we'll do some logos. Or... Watch the camera. Logos up here. Do some different chalk stuff. Maybe you guys can help us pick some. Mm -hmm. We'll do something. That's what we'll do. We'll do something like uh, a poll or do something. You guys can help us choose what we can stick back there. Oh, and we can turn it into like a treasure hunt sort of thing. So when they see something new back there, they have to be like, point it out. Look at that. See? We better write it down so we forget stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I love how like on our lives we give you guys jobs. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so you can help us. Help us take it all out. Yeah. So... We're doing Christmas Eve today. Mm-hmm. I'm going to switch this over so they can see the Christmas. Okay. Okay. I was looking at quite a few different um, online flyers and things this uh, last night when I was laying in bed, couldn't sleep. And everything's Christmas already. Yeah. And I love Christmas. Like, it's not even actually Christmas. I love the decorations. The I love trees. the oh my trees. God. I love the lights. I love the glitter. I love the colors. I love... This is a small amount that you guys get to see. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> I cannot wait. She's been asking me to put the tree up already. Oh, no, not yet. I can't be 80 with a Christmas tree. Can too, can too. Talk to Californians. As a New Yorker. <laughs> give me so, something. We can't put it up before Christmas or uh, Thanksgiving. So, anyway. as a compromise, we're going to do this. Decorations. Yes. Yeah. We're going to do the North Pole Kringle Cookie Company, and um, you can tell I've already used this, and I made a really cute little design, and we're basically going to replicate it, because I did it on wood. And these are the little overlays that give you, like, the icing. So. That's cool. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it? Do it. I've got. Show me colors. We've got. The traditional red, white, and green. Christmassy. This one's meadow, shimmer crimson, and then mm, white. And white. And this is going to be our super special cookie business. We've got oh, we got the we got camel and bark. And I'm going to show you how to use a little makeup sponge to make them look like a thing. Paper towels. Oh, yes, those I are the paper towels. All right. And then. And then that's it. And then we work. Oh, and then we work. And then we do. Time to go to work. And we make trees. You want to put that on the cloth or put the cloth on it? Cloth on it. It's a little bit bigger than my board. A little bit bigger than the board. That's okay. It just can curl up. <sighs> Team chalking. Ready? You hold up, hold. Whoa. Okay, I'll hold. Whoa. Huh? Team fuzzing? Team something? Just because we're dorks doesn't mean you actually need two people to do this. <laughs> it's fun, okay? Uh. Okay. 
I think we're good. Okay. I think we're good. <laughs> Louie. Okay, just like with every other largest transfer, just kind of let it glide down until you get it in the spot you want it. Instead of trying to stick it right from the beginning. You're so much better. I can never get it to sit right. <laughs> I'm professional. You are a professional. Okay. There we nice. go. Nice. Now. What are you doing first? I'm going to give you a quick tip. You see how it's kind of hanging out off of the board? Um, guess what? You can trim that down if you actually want it to sit on the board on the board. That's true because what's it matter if it's right. excess is gone? As long as you're not cutting the screen part, the open screen, you can cut this to any old shape you want. You can trim it right down all the way as close as you want. Pro tip. Pro tip. Cut your transfers. If you want to. If you want to. <laughs> okay. We got to add. This is going to be red. Okay. This is going to be white. Okay. Red. White. Yeah. Green? No. No? We got the green out for them. The green's for these. Oh. Okay. But all these little ones, I think red. Okay. So red, white, red, white. Yep. Red. I'll do red. Green. Okay. Shake and bake. Bake Except you got all the tools. I do. But I don't do nothing. You never get anything. I, I know. Just take it all from you. Abused, mistreated. Mm hmm. So, everybody who's watching us, hello and thank you. Um, tell us if you are excited for Christmas. And I'm not talking me level excited, just <laughs> normal people excited. Like, do you like to decorate? Sort of excited. Not, do you want to do it tomorrow? <laughs> Because I do. <laughs> but. <laughs> uh, I just like it. And I have a theory. I think I've told you guys the theory already. Um, I think. So I we live in upstate New York, which is dull, dreary, snowy, cold, blowy, nasty. All winter long. All of that. All of that. All at the same time. And um, my theory is that we should just call them winter lights. So that oh. everybody can have them. <laughs> Keep them all year. And you put them up all winter long and you turn them on all winter long. Because typically around here, everybody leaves them on until like New Year's Eve. Um, but well, I... Then it's like negative 30 when we got to go take them down. Right. Well, I shouldn't say leave them up. They leave them on. <laughs> Don't take them down until spring. Right. So, but I think that because it's so cold and nasty that... That we should just leave them on because it, it's so much prettier. It makes this makes your evening so nice, especially when it gets dark at freaking three o'clock. All right, that might be a small exaggeration, but not by much. Not a lot. <laughs> it's already getting dark pretty early. It is. It's disgusting. So, I might have to start a petition. <laughs> this year especially, a little extra something. Yeah. Well, that's why I'm saying this year, everybody just puts them up whenever the hell they want and turn them on and turn them off whenever they want. <laughs> there are no rules this year, in case you haven't noticed. <laughs> makes you happy, go after it. Yep, that is pretty much the theme this year. If it makes you happy, just do it. I don't know if I got enough on that one. Can you see it? Did I get enough on that one? I just put a little extra. It won't hurt. Boom, boom, boom. You're going to start working on the cookies? Okay. Yep, I'm going to work on the cookies. I'll do the green. All right. Because I realized that I did the green or the white pretty thin. So I have do it to, quick. Yeah, my, get my button gear. I'm going to lay down the base color with the caramel. Because it looks like a gingerbread, right? It's kind of gingerbread. Oh, color. and you're going the other way. You're going darker with the... Yeah. No, I'm going to show you what I'm doing. What are you doing? We're doing... Well, actually, you could if you wanted to do chocolate frosting on your right. Cookies, yeah, you could the reverse. I thought was what you were doing. No, I'm using the I'm using bark. I'm gonna kind of dab it around the edges so it looks like they've cooked. You know how cookies? Oh, you're gonna toast them. I'm gonna toast them. Look at you. She doesn't tell me anything. Most of the time, we just sit down. She's I like, did too. You didn't tell me that. I did so. Did you really? Really did. I think she's lying. I am not lying. Listen, I tell the people when I've fibbed and when you've done something better. I totally told you this. 
recently? Yeah. <laughs> you asked me what colors we were doing before we sat down. I sat down. I had you give me the makeup sponge. What did you think I was doing? I don't know. I'll pay attention. I told you what I was doing. <laughs> Whoops. Married life, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yep. Oh. This is honestly us. I mean, like, there's no filter for you guys. We don't hold anything back. Yep. All right. So, regular old makeup sponge. This one looks all tore to hell because I I literally just cut it apart. I had all sorts of different... Um, chalks and colors. Uh, yeah, different chalks and colors and things that sat on there. And so, I just dip it in. Put it on the lid a little bit to get some of the, the blotches off, and then just go around, sponge around the edges so that it looks like the cookie has baked. Because that's how cookies cook. They cook from the edges in. So, And another pro tip with your when you're sponging, start sponging on the, the teal, and then move, work in to, oh, so go. that you don't get solid, hard edges, because it's kind of hard to get it back up. In a nice way. That too, and your first couple blocks are going to have more on it than the other, so you get the heavy excess off right. even after that. Yep. Look at you go. Yes, you can. I'm done. Awesome. We're good to go, beautiful. As soon uh, as you're done. I'm going to do my work real quick here. You don't have enough dark brown on them. Must have been somebody else cooked. I don't bake. I know, that's what I was saying. <laughs> oh, I did it. it. You meant yeah, I burned them. You didn't them. burn them enough. <laughs> Listen, I don't burn cookies. Okay. I eat if cookies. If there's one thing, yeah. <laughs> I like to eat cookies, therefore, they don't get burnt. It does look pretty cool. I know. <laughs> <laughs> You can do the same thing with a paper towel, too. Um, that's actually how I do snow in large quantities. Crinkle it up yep. and get kind Crinkle of... Crinkle it up. Because um, sometimes with the with the sponge, it will give you a straight line, which we don't necessarily want, a straight edge. But you can go back in and kind of edit. Quick like bunny. Quick like bunny. You're almost there. Yeah. Come on, you can do... Yeah, why just starting to dry? Yeah, I know. So we're getting the gingerbread house might not have as much uh, baked specific. goodness. Yeah, she was a little underdone. It was a different batch. The, the new baker came in. Go, pet. Go, husband. Go. Oh, we're good. Sweet. It's feeling good. Sweet. Oh, look at the. So I'm bringing this back to just this one and everybody's leaving, so. Yeah. Oh, nope, we got a thumbs up. up. Thank hey. you. So you can hear us. Yeah. All right. Well, good. <sighs> so we'll do it this way. Yeah. <laughs> now this doesn't even have the icing on it yet. No way. Hey. Stop it. But you can see some of the little crispy, crispy brown edges. It's toasty. And so now we're going to, without the aid of our overhead camera, we're going, hey, what about if you connect yeah, my you phone? Let's we'll see if we can patch in a real quick uh, patch. <laughs> <laughs> so you can still see. Oh, thanks, Andrea. Yeah, we're... It, we have two cameras. We have one there and one there. And that one decided to just crap out. So, okay. her husband so is I'm going to be the new to, cameraman. So, husband will hold the camera. Uh, he will once he turns out of, how to put on mute. Oh. Uh, good question. There, got it. there it is. Oh, there. Now it switched. There we go. Okay. Yay. I will try not to be shaky. Yes. Don't give the people seasickness. All right. We're almost done anyway, guys. So. 
Uh, come for the chalk, stay for the technical difficulties. <laughs> Always with the shenanigans. <laughs> so I've got, everything is all dry. I dried it with the hot stick. So these little layers are going to go on top of each of the shapes to give us the, um, the frosting. Because that's, quite honestly, one of the best parts about gingerbread cookies. Oh, so, story time. Um, when I was growing up, there was this place called Mapledale Market. And if y'all are from Poland, like from my hometown, you will know, you will remember, they had the best gingerbread men. They were freaking huge, and they were covered with huge dollops of delicious, delicious frosting. And this just reminded me of them. Oh, look at the icing. Look at that! Yay! You know what, too? It works good with the toasted sides. The icing kind of, mm -hmm. I don't want to say melts it, but blends it together a little nice. Yep, yeah, that's why I wasn't too super um, careful with the... Um, the darker brown? The brown yeah. Bark? Yes. I really am trying to hold this still, but it is not working. It's hard. I'm trying to work quickly still, because it's hard to hold still. <laughs> um, hey, Andrea, tell me, let me know if you were able to get your pumpkins and the transfer. They, oops, that didn't line up quite right. Because I think they're coming back again if they went out. This has been a very popular time for... Cookie, de or for cookie decorating for Somebody's hungry. chalking. I am. Oh, I love cookies. Okay. I have I have pumpkins on in stock. So if they if the pumpkins themselves are gone, um just let me know. I can We'll do some PayPal and I'll send them to you, okay? Because it's fall, y'all, and we need pumpkins. Pumpkin everything. Yes! I'm talking about pumpkins as I'm sitting here making Christmas cookies. <laughs> Maybe they're pumpkin gingerbread. <gasps> that sounds delicious! Alright, come on. Hurry I'm up. working! I'm going! Poor husband. A little impromptu camera work. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Dun, dun, dun. All done. Okay. You know, I'm going to switch it back over here. To the face view? To the face view. <laughs> and I'll hold it up. <laughs> yep, that way I am not. There we go. <laughs> oh, I'm just getting tired. <laughs> That's why when you see people taking selfie videos, they're going, uh. <laughs> Ta da! Kringle Book <laughs> Company. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> uh, nice. It's so freaking cute. It is cool. Very cool. You can do the browns. Yep. Ooh. Oh, I seem to have lost. That's okay. I'll still eat them. Well, it's it's because somebody was um, holding the camera and I was really trying to hurry. <laughs> but you know what? That happens in real life cookies too. So. And I still eat them. You do. And I have a really unique idea for this transfer. Uh -oh. I told you about it already. Oh, okay. But I'm not going to tell them about it yet. Because I'm going to do it. I don't know if I remember it. I'll tell you. We'll after. see. Secrets. Mm -hmm. So. Very cool. As with all of our designs, if you absolutely love this and you don't want to make it yourself, just let me know and I can make you one and send it out to you. The Luan, that stuff is very um, lightweight and easy to ship. So yep. it's not like it's gonna cost a thousand dollars to ship it. And then you can very easily frame it yourself at home with something that matches your decor. Yep. And you just tell me what colors you want because it doesn't have to be red, white, green, brown. I do look good. What did we do with the other one? We're gonna switch you back over real quick. Just do the other one. I'm pretty sure I did it the same way. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, it was on a whiteboard, so white it board. got black. Yep. Oh, and I did the black stars. Look at that. Slightly different. Black and red. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Very cool. See, I lined up the house on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Had a little more time on that one. We're under the gun. Yeah. So, very cool. Cool. Let's say so, project. Do we know what tomorrow's project is? I know I don't. Nope. You haven't told me. Or I don't remember you telling me. No, I don't think I do. Oh, what's happening? Yeah. Well, anyway, we'll be back tomorrow. Oh, I'll though. figure that out. We're going to do a full project tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow is an actual craft. We're going to figure out yep. a full whole thing, not on a board. Like the scarecrow a... we did last week, something yep. similar. So, start to finish. Hello. Hi, Margaret. Hi, Margaret. So, you're jumping on at the end, but feel free to catch the replay. See we... what we did, Margaret? Yes. And if you catch the replay, you can sort of see how, because we have a little technical difficulty, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> Too funny. Cool. Awesome. All right. I think we're... Happy Tuesday, everyone. See you guys later. Toodles.